And there he goes again. Jeez. Oh, hello. I'm sorry for worrying you all. I won't be able to respond for a little while longer. You don't need to mind us. More importantly, are you doing all right? I'm okay. I'm more worried about the people at the company, to be honest. It seems everyone's having a difficulty with not only clients, but the press as well. They're even handling the preparations for my father's funeral. I just feel so guilty that I'm unable to help out at all. You shouldn't. Everyone understands this is a trying time for you. And we're here if anything happens. I know. I'll get in touch once things settle down. We'll be waiting. Don't push yourself. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bless that girl. Worrying about others even at a time like this. Aww. Poor Haru. <laughs> I, I, sh I should make that sound a little more sincere. I bet they killed Akumara to make an example out of him. Impossible. Why else would I, they kill him during a press conference? I read somewhere... Th I read somewhere that Okuma raised his daughter alone. Maybe he wasn't a great manager, but as a parent, I feel for him. Murdering someone to make a point is textbook terrorism. Like Shido and that Akechi kid said. Say, the Phantom Thieves are a menace. <sighs> yeah, sure you said that. <laughs> you didn't believe in the Phantom Thieves at all, huh? Uh, okay. Exams are coming up. Oh, what are we doing today? We're texting! Who on earth set us up? Does anyone have any ideas? Of course not. If I were to guess, I would say the culprit behind the mental shutdowns. Wait, how do we even know we got set up to begin with? They found a calling card in the principal Kabayakawa's office. Someone else had to have planted that, obviously. In the worst case scenario, it's possible they know our identities. This is bad, guys. Yes, our state of affairs is looking quite bleak. Let's prove our innocence. How are we gonna do that, though? It looks like our only choice now is to find the true culprit. Although, we don't have any leads. Damn it, why is this gotta happen to us? All right, after school. It's raining. Great. I wish we could prove our innocence, but we can't afford to make a dumb mistake and get ourselves caught. We'll just have to keep laying low and... Uh, wait. Let's not do anything conspicuous, uh, okay? Boop. Hey, sorry for bringing this up when things are so chaotic. I know it's been tough after what happened to President Okuma and all. But this is the perfect time for small changes of heart to restore your reputation. Anyways, here's some info I have. If true, this one's pretty crazy. Apparently an ex-mercenary who works as an assassin ha is hiding out in Shibuya Underground. He acts like the, a homeless person during the day, but then he goes about his work at night. He hasn't left any, traces, uh, any trace of his identity though. So there's nothing the police can do. Hey, everyone's gotta work. How, how can you accept that? Killing people is not okay. Well, according to the rumors, his name is Yohei uh, Kiritani. I'm seriously scared. I don't want anything to do with this. I'm leaving this to you, the Phantoms. Mm. Mishima really does get some amazing info for us sometimes. Our reputation may have to... Oh, Ah, da 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 Yada yada blah blah let's go Alright uh I'm guessing Oh no Shinya Um Uh text Zams that's gotta be a study prompt Uh I'm not studying cause I I have maxed Knowledge, thank you. Um, how many rec Okay, four. Okay, good, that... Mm. 
honestly, if no one is available, this might be the perfect opportunity to go to Mementos right now. Yeah, no one is available. Actually, I want to go see Maruki real quick. Uh, practice building. Well, it probably isn't even time. Like, do you like the rain? Looks like it's raining today. If you're feeling down, it's probably the weather's fault. Ah, yes. I'm almost done with that study. Once it's done, I want you to see it. Yeah, he doesn't even have a card. I don't even know why I bothered. Um, I'm guessing Haru's not gonna be with us for this Mementos trip. Let's see. Haru's here, but she's probably not going to be here. Also, uh, real quick, I want to stop by and do some shopping. So I'm going to do some shopping, and then I'll probably meet you at the hideout. So I'll be right back. Okay. It's crazy how hard people are coming down on us. Do they have to criticize us so much? Let's review the requests. Do you want to go over the targets? Let's do that after we meet up with Haru. Wait. Are we not allowed to... What? So we can't even do uh, quests right now? Yeah, we're not going to talk about it. I'm not going to go, because I don't want to accidentally go in. Great. I can't go. I don't think, because Haru's not ready. Great. Fine. I guess we got to wait for Haru. Uh, in which case, um, where do I go? What do I do? Um... Is there anything to do in Kichi Joji? I can't even do that because Haru is not available. Damn it. Um, there's nothing really to do over there. Nothing really to do over here. Nothing to do. What can I do to work on guts? Oh, I know. Uh, first off, I think it's here in Central Street. Alright, so um, I can't do anything with uh, Haru. Uh, Haru not being available. So, um, instead, first off, I want to go to this place. Let's oh, see. Take your time. Uh, snack pack. Nope. Well, they don't have it. They only have regular ones, huh? I'll buy a couple of them. Garden energy. Cup noodle set. Omni vitamin. Huh, they're supposed to sell wet protein. Oh well. Um, yeah, I haven't done it yet, but uh, we can go to the gym. Yeah, let's do that. Going to the gym will cause time to pass, but it will raise your max HP and SP. The more you go to the gym, the greater the effect will be. Check your schedule and use the gym wisely. 2,000 yen per visit. Let's go. All right. Hey there. Hey, welcome. You came here with your friend the other day, right? I'm happy you could come back. Now, I recommend using the this equipment since you're a beginner. So this, equipment... this is a treadmill. This will, of course, improve your physical stamina. You'll also learn some mental control by regularly checking your heart rate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Didn't you buy some protein shakes? You're quite prepared. I'm impressed. Protein shakes will increase the effect of your training. Using it when you want to be more efficient in your workout. Take protein. Take it. Jug, jug, jug. Well, Alright, you ready for this? I'm surprised they let me do this. Let my cat run on the treadmill. You're running pretty fast. Be careful, you, you'll get tired out if you don't pace yourself well. 
Oh! Ow! Oh man, that hurt. that looked like it hurt. Face faulting right onto the treadmill. Ow! Hey, are you still alive? That was quite a fall there. Hmm. It seems you trained yourself both physically and mentally. Oh goody. All right. That's great. All right. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Sounds good. Doctor, help. Okay, it's the evening. All right, it's cloudy. That means I could go. I hear the Phantom Thieves killed someone. It's been all. It's all over the news. Uh, we. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, Mishima. Really? All right. Um, I'm going to go to the red light district. And, uh, gonna increase Oya, because she needs to be ready to rank up next time, because she's about to max out. So I decided to go ahead and just finish Mishima's, because he's also rank 9. Let's just do it. The Phantom Thieves were supposed to be the embodiment of justice. How did it come to this? No, there's no point sitting around complaining about it now. I'm sure you'll be able to turn the tide if you just keep changing the hearts of horrible criminals. Oh, and I'll do whatever I can to help you guys out. Alright. I just want to relax a bit. Let's head over to the park. You know, I've been thinking about what Akiyama kun said to me. Akiyama, seriously. How I've changed. For some reason, I couldn't bring myself to run away back when I saved him. So, I was thinking why that may have been. Did you find your answer? Honestly, I was pretty desperate at the time, so I don't remember much. But in the back of my head, I was thinking what you would do in that situation. Aww. I mean, you put yourself on a line to stop Kamoshida. And probably other villains too. Madarame, uh, Kaneshiro, uh, Okumura, but that. So, uh, <laughs> it had to be something I could do myself. Oh, nope. That was courageous. But you were afraid. That was courageous. <laughs> I was only acting out of fear, though. You know, I've always wanted to change. I wanted to go from the dull nobody everyone messes with to the famous world-renowned hero. Yeah. But you helped me realize something important. Heroes aren't heroes because they're famous. It's because they fight for other people. Okay. Yay, realizations. What I really wanted to change was the weak me. The me on the volleyball team who let wrongdoing go unpunished, even though I knew it was unjust. The cowardly me who looked the other way when people I knew were in need of help. Tell me the truth. I only changed because you stole my heart, right? I didn't do anything. No, I stole your heart. You changed yourself. Huh? So the Phantom Thieves didn't make me have a change of heart? Really? Huh. But you know what? It's still thanks to you that I was able to change. All this time, <clears throat> I've been looking up to the Phantom Thieves. Pretending to be a collaborator, and now I'm finally able to stop pretending. Truth be told, I had given up. I accepted that I was a zero, that my existence was meaningless. Man, but I this is deep. I may not be able to change the world. Our high schoolers, too. I can change myself. Whether I sulk about my inability to do anything, or hold my head high and look to the future, my perception shapes the boundaries of my world. It all comes down to what's inside my heart. I might still mess up every so often, but as long as you're here, I'll be able to stand up again. So, I may not be the best person around, <laughs> but you can feel free to rely on me at least sometimes. And, eh. no matter what the world says, I'll be rooting for you. Just like you were for me. A handshake. Friendship. Another maxed. Thou, thou hast turned a vow into a 
blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the moon, granting thee infinite power. So much infinite power! Salvation Wish allows backup members to earn the same EXP as current party members. So basically everyone, I guess, gains, yeah, gains all the EXP. All right. Sweet. All right. And now we can uh, fuse Sendalflon, the most powerful persona of the Moon Arcana. You know what? I'm going to find you an awesome request. <laughs> oh, there really aren't any awesome requests. It just all sucks. That's all I can really do for you right now. But I'm working on that documentary too. I even plan on making it into a book someday. Wow. I bet anyone who reads about the Phantom Thieves would find the hidden courage within themselves. Maybe that means I can use that book to change people's hearts. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Make it a bestseller. You have to write it first. Make it a bestseller, dude. All right, I'm on it. Oh, but before that, I'm hungry. Come on, let's grab a bite to eat on the way home. Maybe a buffet? Wait, no, we should save that for after I get all my book royalties. <laughs> you better be looking. Oh, looking forward to it. Man, I love that song. Uh, the downfall is coming. This sucks. I wonder when Okumura san will start coming back to school. I know the funeral soon. It must be tough organizing the funeral for a big wig CEO. Okumura san is pr usually pretty quiet. Do you think she's okay? Hard to believe that dad of such a nice girl could be so evil. I didn't expect this from the Phantom Thieves. That was a full-blown public execution. We didn't do it. Oh great, what now? Things are looking rough online. They're just calling us a bunch of murderers. All the celebrities who supported us are being criticized now, too. It's all gone up in flames. People are posting about this stuff everywhere. I highly doubt that anyone who supported us did so honestly. There must have been many who simply went with the winning side. I get mixed feelings about this when you put, put it that way. It does make me rethink a lot of things. That aside, we need to deal with our situation first. Our state of affairs continues to worsen. We can't just sit back and watch this happen. Still, we can't make a move when we don't have any leads. What are we supposed to do then? Right around the time when uh, your exams end will be the perfect timing. Ugh, for what? Don't worry about it. Anyway, just wait and see what happens. For the time being, let's discuss things after our exam end. Ugh, there's no way I can focus on exams like this. Can you ever? Hey, are you listening? I'm getting yelled at again. Apparently, the like I heard they made a like a deal about this in the anime. And speaking of which, the Persona Five anime got dubbed. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so good. I need to watch it. I actually haven't watched it yet. It, I don't know, just not always in the mood for a sub, you know? Though there are some really good ones out there, like, uh, well, any of the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. <laughs> hey. Useless charm! I'm way ahead of this game. Alright, after school, it's sunny. And, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, what's his name? Shinya. Shinya is available. 
Uh, I'm going to uh, boost up Iwai so he'll be ready. Then I'm thinking of actually going to go help Futaba. Because I want her confidant up. I'm more focusing on my party members at times. Alright, to the red light district. Okay, we're gonna hang out with Futaba. Let's do this. Yo, Ren. If you're free, it's a uh, it's promised this time. What should we do next? <clears throat> hang out. All right, time to formulate our plan of attack. Get in there. Go, go. So the next promise is, learn about my generation. Wait, I think I can do uh, the next one too. Have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Mmm, where can I find lots of young people? All right, let's go. Well, ain't no time like the present. Come on, let's go. Uh -huh. Wow, you're, you guys are, uh, you guys have actually started getting pretty close. Not like that's a bad thing though. Anyway, be careful out there. Sojuro has been much more chipper. Mm. So we've arrived at the diner. I've heard all about the unlimited fountain drinks at this pl at these places. Well, where where are they? I don't see them anywhere. Hi. I'm a Mia. Oh crap! And you're with a girl? Is this a friend of yours? It's in my class. And this might be a bit much. He's in my class. Oh, that's right. Hmm. How about I ask him to help with my promise? Hmm? What promise? Well, you just want to have a regular old conversation. So wait, you're saying that you, a girl, want to talk to me? Yeah. I see. In that case, I guess I don't have a choice. Nope, none whatsoever. I'll just have to help you out. Really? Oh, you're so nice. My name's Futaba Sakura, and don't you forget it. Uh, okay. I'm Yuki Mishima, but everyone just calls me Mishima. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It seems like uh, help always comes my way when I need it most. Maybe my luck stats are really high. I think you're right. No. You're what? I think you're right. Heck yeah. I could probably roll a natural 20 right now if you asked me to. Let me see. So, you want to learn more about our generation? That would be easy to explain. Youth. Youth. The Unknown Frontier. Hmm, maybe I should try talking about my hobbies. Um, Do you like computers? Yes. Hmm, I'm always online. Me too. What sites do you use? I usually keep uh, to forums myself. Are you more into streaming? I gladly subscribe to your channel. Wait, do you by chance run one of those racy channels? You'd need to be uh, super courageous to do that. Though, it certainly wouldn't be unwelcome. <laughs> Whoa, that's the first time I've heard anyone actually say that out loud. Huh? That, that's all you took from that conversation? I see. Ah, I've got it. This overwhelming, forgettable appearance, generic speech style, and total lack of sex appeal. Nishima, are you an NPC? What's an NPC? Savage. He's the protagonist. <laughs> really? Huh, I guess you can't judge a book by its cover. Right. And it's Mishima, not Nishima. Anyway, I'm glad you spawned here. I killed two promises with one Nishima today. Learn about my generation and have a normal conversation with a stranger my age. Aw, yeah. <laughs> I think I gained a ton of a EXP on this adventure. It's all because... You brought me here, Ren. Thanks. <laughs> Mishima is just like, uh, why am I here? All right. 
So, um, Futaba-chan, it's okay if I call you that, right? I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> anyway, uh, what are you doing after this? Going home. Yes. Uh, oh, right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Good lord, that's twice now. Ahoy! I did awesome today, huh? I mean, I cleared two goals in one day. That's not all. On my way home, I found a lost thing in the street, so I dropped it off at the police station. I'm a completely different person now. No more getting scared of the police. Come on, tell me I'm cool. You did great. That's nothing special. Ding! Level up. You did great. <laughs> Man, I love it when people tell me I did good. Though I basically just left the thing on their doorstep. No way I am actually talking to anyone in there. But I left a note saying and stuff, so still, mission complete, basically. Compared to the police, Nishima was nothing. He's like the first gym leader. <laughs> a Pokemon reference? So are we going to tell her that she's not pronouncing his name right. Oh well. Okay. Mm. Alright, what's going on tonight? So, the Phantom Thieves are murderers. I guess all the praise they got before doesn't amount to much now. How could you think that about us, Sojiro? Also, uh, everyone's wanting to study, but, uh, oh hey. Oh, okay. Gotta keep an eye out for that. Got Kami, your Y is ready. Catchy, but I can't. Can't with Hifumi. Uh, all these people I want to hang out with, I can't. Uh, so I guess it's just a Y. Oh, shoot. I don't have a Hank Man. Do I? Nope. Okay. Time to go get it. Be right back. Time to hang out. I got my water ready because, man, your voice kills me. <sighs> I got a security escort task for you. This is something I can only entrust to you. Will you take care of it for me? Will do. Good. The person you'll be escorting is Kaoru. Get, get dinner with him at that diner in Shibuya. Now go. I gotta take care of some business with Suda. I'll be there after I handle that. See you soon. My dad's really late, huh? He's the one who asked us here, too. You know, it's pretty rare for him to invite people out like this. He must see something in you, Amamiya-san. I doubt he'd ever actually admit it, though. By the way, um... Has he said anything to you about me weighing him down? Why would he say that? No, nothing even close. To be honest, he's been acting super weird recently. More than anything, he seems stressed out. I've even heard him mentioning my name on the phone a few times. But then every time I ask, uh, I've gone and asked uh, to ask him about it, he's told me... There's nothing to worry about. I don't know. It just makes me feel anxious somehow. I mean, we're supposed to be a family. I'm not sure if you know this, but he's not my real father. He just took me in after my parents died in a car crash. Apparently he was a good friend of theirs. Honestly, I can't remember a single thing about them. I wonder if my dad even considers me to be a part of his family. He definitely does. You should ask him. 
He definitely does. You think so? Now that I think about it, um, have you ever seen his tattoo? The gecko on his neck. The truth is, I have a really bad scar in the same spot from my parents' car crash. But back when I was a kid, everyone picked on me for it. My dad would always come home to find me in tears. That's why he got that tattoo. He said it could be the new Iwai family crest. Oh, and I did some research on geckos. Turns out they symbolize protecting one's home and family. I had almost forgotten about that, to be honest. Maybe he cares about me more than I realize. Yo. Yo, sorry for the holdup. You two look like you're having fun. What, are you, what have you been talking about? Our futures, girls. That's the secret. Girls. <laughs> well, aren't you two a pair of lady killers? Guess that uh, there are worse things you could uh, be talking about, though. Wait, did you get a girlfriend, Karu? That's not what we're talking about. Sorry. Anyways, I can't stay long. I've got errands I need to take care of. Figured it'd be nicer to at least drop by instead of tell you over the phone. What errands? Or can you not tell me? <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? It's just work stuff. Ain't that right? Right. You should tell him why. You should buy us something. <laughs> Bye. Yo. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Order anything you want. It's on me. Okay. By the way, I'm almost done figuring out what happened with that deal we were talking about. I'm going now to meet with the guy who set it all up. I'll have to fill you in on the details some other time. <laughs> Anyways, this is all thanks to you, kid. It's real nice having a reliable part-timer to help round the shop. Sweet. Boom. Rank six. All right. Um, you're not getting yourself into any danger, anything dangerous, are you? Dangerous? Of course not. Later. Well, I'm out of here. You can hang on to my wallet, Karu. Eat as much as you want. Let's see you at home. Okay. Well, I'm making a friend out of this, so. Hello. Hey, thanks for looking after Karu. With you covering for me, I actually got some good business done, too. Looked like you and Kaoru really hit it off. Glad to see you two getting along. He's my age, so it comes easier. All I did was listen to him. It's part of the job. <laughs> uh, some, he's my age, so that's kind, that was kind of what I was hoping for when I asked you to handle this. To be honest, though, things went even better than I expected. <laughs> well, I figured I was just getting some security, but I guess that's not all you're good for. He's hitting that age where he has to figure out a lot, some of which I'm sure he won't talk to me about. I kinda, I'm kinda hoping you can help him through that kind of thing. Well, we'll talk again later. See ya. Man, not even ready to rank up next time. I, man, why you need a lot of work done. And we're dropping more. And it's sunny. And I'm being texted. You free? Ren, I'm free. See? You're free. Only one promise left. Can you come with me? I'll respond later. I'm going to be opening the shop soon, so I'll need you to do the dishes once you're done with that. Hey. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Thank you for the food. It was delicious, like always. Uh, everyone, just shut up. Oh great, exams are tomorrow. Hello? Can I bother you for a moment? Now that the funeral is over, it feels like a small burden has been lifted off uh, from my shoulders. Um, this must be tough. Are you alright? I am. I actually feel bad having everyone worry about me. How are you? Are you doing okay? I'm managing. This is awful. I'm managing. 
You sure are strong. I'll come back, don't worry. I think I'll be able to rejoin everyone around when exams end. Um, well, see you. Haru, she's the one who should be in pain right now. Yeah. She's still trying to cheer us up. There are just some people like that in the world. Even through their suffering, they gotta make sure everyone else is okay. Honestly, they feel rare nowadays, but I'm not gonna get into that. Exam start tomorrow. Great. Taba is available. Makoto. Everyone's all maxed out. Uh, let's see. Where... I guess I just hang out with Futaba. Do I even have a... A hermit? Yes, I do. Bicorn. Good. Very good. Uh, let's see. So, exams are starting tomorrow. That's just great. Um, after that, I think... What, what comes after that? I'm just trying to think through the original game. Um. Oh well. Let's just head outside and hang out with uh, Futaba. Hey, Futaba. Oh, hey, a kitty. There was a kitty. Hi. Hello. Oh, don't don't leave. No, kitty. Oh. He's cute too. Hey, Vitaba. Yo. Yo, Ren. Oh, one. Shoot. Alright, see you. First things first. Alright, I am back. Had to make sure Y was ready and I wasn't paying attention when. Chiaya was telling me, so. Let's hang out. Only one thing left on the promise list. Be okay without you around. But before that, there's something I want to show you, Ren. Come to my room. Okay. Um. This is one of the promise lists I made with my mom. See? Everything on here is marked off as being done. But that's kind of... Wrong. There was one promise I lied about doing. One promise I never actually finished. It was get along with Kana-chan. This all started back when I was in elementary school. I used to get bullied pretty hard uh, for how weird I was. The other kids always accused me of cheating because I'd get perfect scores on my test. Then one time I turned in a test with nothing written down instead, but the school ended up yelling at my mom. My life at school was horrible. Sometimes during recess, I'd lock myself in the bathroom and cry. I didn't have a single friend. I was always alone. But then a girl named Kana transferred to my school. She was absent a lot at first, but uh, then when she was there, the other kids bullied her like they did to me. But one day, she said something to me. Good morning. She started saying it every day from then on. Are you happy? That must have been a shock. How'd you react? That must have been a shock. Totally. I mean, literally nobody wanted to talk to me back then. To be honest, I completely ignored her the first few times. I thought the bullies had her put her up to it. But without fail, she come over to me and to say good morning. And eventually I decided to say it back. It felt like my heart was going to shatter into a million pieces. <laughs> Apparently, she'd been saying it to me that whole time because she thought we could be friends. She was the first person who didn't mind how weird I was. I was so happy about making a friend that I told my mom. That's when she added something to the, my promise list. Get along with Kana-chan. But I couldn't do it. One particularly windy morning, Kana-chan dropped her diary in... The pages flew everywhere. I didn't really mean to look, but I ended up seeing everything she had written down. And once I s see something, I can't forget it. It was so horrible. 
She wrote about how her parents hit her, how they made her take pictures in weird clothes. Oh God. Kana-chan's diary was full of stories like that. Then when I asked her about it, she got really defensive. I felt horrible, but she just kept yelling at me for reading it. I didn't know any better. Did you apologize to her? Sounds like it was her fault. She didn't know any better. Yeah, but I couldn't really tell her that. I just froze up. And then I ran. I ran and ran and... I wanted to stop yelling. I wanted her to stop yelling. I wanted to go back to how things were before. Kana-chan ended up moving away pretty soon after that. I haven't talked to her since. So, I lied to my mom. Even after Kana-chan left, I would tell her we were best friends. Every month, she'd write that promise on my list. And every month, I lie about it. I... I wish... I wish I could apologize to Kana-chan somehow. I really want to say I'm sorry. Sorry for not helping her. Though she was going through even worse stuff than I was. Sorry for reading her diary. Sorry for running away. I hate being such a coward. But I think I might be able to face my fears now that I'm a promise settling phantom thief. Get along with Kana-chan? I'm gonna do it for real this time. Aha! Uh -huh. I didn't uh, mean to tell you all that. Not even Sojiro knows. This is so embarrassing. You have to help me now, got it? Understood. Someone's pushy today. <laughs> Understood. This is another part of our deal. Hooray! Active support. Moral support may now charge or recover SP. That is pretty right. helpful, I gotta say. Well, I'm gonna get on that right now. Time to go look up Kana-chan's deets. Oh, and sorry I wasn't too hospitable today. That'll have to wait for next time. Okay. Now make like a cheetah and dash out of my room. Did I just get kicked out? Hello, it's me. Something's not right, Ren. When I tried looking up Kanachan's contact info, my fingers started suddenly start trembling. I know I promised myself that I'd do this, but I remember when I remember how angry Kanachan got, I got so I get so scared. Are you running away again? Let's calm down first. I'm right here with you. Are you running away again? What am I doing? Freaking out at the most important moment. If I can't do this, then what was my training for? I don't want to run away anymore. I won't give up on Kana-chan. Thanks, Ren. Talking to you about this helped me calm down. I'm going to do a little more research on Kana-chan. Oh, and please don't tell anyone ab uh, else about what we discussed today. Not even Sojiro, okay? Bye. Okay, the last night before exams. Who are we hanging out with? But first, this isn't much of an update, but I think I'm going back to school starting tomorrow. I'm sorry for worrying all of you until now. Are you really okay, though? Be sure not to push yourself too hard in this time of grief. No, I actually need to push myself. My mind always wanders if I have nothing to do. Yeah, I totally get you. Besides, there's nothing I can do while I'm at home. Well, uh, I don't know how to put it, but try not to think about that stuff too much. Count on us anytime. Yeah, you don't have to worry about asking for anything. We're all here for you. Um, to be completely honest, when I ended up alone, I did doubt you all a tiny bit, but it's so horrible for me to doubt you. I mean, I'm the one who asked you all to do this. Your father just passed away, Haru. It's natural to feel a flood of emotions at such events. Yeah, it's really hard when you lose someone like that. But I'm okay now. You've all helped me so much. 
right back at you. Thank you. Those words are truly reassuring. Well then, I'll see you all at school. Um, I'm not surprised she seems down. You should keep her in your thoughts. Still, despite how well she do. looks, Haru has quite the backbone. I'm sure she'll be okay. Yep. All right, let's see. Sojiro's available. Iwai is available. Oh, yeah, it's not available. Can't just finish her up right now. You know what? Do I have a Hierophant? I think I just might. Yep, Dice Sojo. Great. So, I'm going to hang out with Sojiro. One sec. My tech is really screwy right now. <laughs> I'm right here. Sojiro, let's talk. What should I do with that man? Ugh, my head hurts. My overflowing kindness. Hmm? You look like you have something to say. Yeah, he needs a max kindness. Let's help All him right out. Then. Well, I guess there's no point in worrying. Help me clean up. Will do, Sojiro. Utaba, what's wrong? It's not like you to come here this late. <laughs> Look, Sojiro. Uncle's bank info, transaction history, credit details. I've got tons of dirt on him. How'd you get your hands on that stuff? Hacking, of course. Uncle's in loads at that. He'll never win a suit against us now if we have all this data. <sighs> this is a criminal offense, you idiot. There's no way we'd be able to use this stuff in court. But... Jeez. I've known all along how badly in debt he is. He's not going to try and take custody back. So don't go doing stupid crap like this, okay? But Sojiro, I only did it because of all that stuff he said to you. About that, I've been thinking. When push comes to shove, I wasn't there to help you. So you know... Maybe there's somewhere better for you out there. Somewhere better? Am I not supposed to be here? Am I just in the way? No, that's not it. You don't want me either, Sojiro. That's not what I meant. I just think it might be better for your own sake. Fine, I still have Ren and Mona and all the, the others. You can just stay here and play with your stupid coffee beans. <sighs> she likes you guys way more than she likes me. Makes sense though. You're the ones who saved her after all. Where did I go wrong? I really did try to care for Futaba. Looks, uh, look where that got me. I told myself she was the reason I kept making Wakaba's curry here. But deep down, I think that was just an excuse to stay distant. At the end of the day, the coffee and curry people love so much are both just excuses. You may be right. That's not true. They're still delicious. I mean, if we're being perfectly honest here. You might be right. Yeah. I mean, I spent more time in the cafe than I ever did trying to talk to Futaba. I'm gonna go out for a smoke. Try to cool off for a bit. Sorry to lay this on you, but can you go after Futaba for me? You okay? Ren. Are you alright? You calm down? You wanna talk? Yeah, thanks. You know, Mom used to talk about Sojiro tons when I was little. How good he was at making curry, how interesting he was to talk to. I remember everything. I remember when how she smiled when she talked about him. Mom really liked Sojiro. Aww. I said some really I said some real mean stuff tonight. It's not his fault mom's incident happened. It's not his fault I shut myself away from the world. Because of me, Sojiro lost a crap ton of money. 
I just thought I'd be able to stay here with him if my hacking worked. Let's talk to him. You should tell him that. You guys are one awkward duo. You should tell him that. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Utaba. Can I come in? <laughs> mm-hmm. Sojiro, I... Look, I'm sorry about what I said just now. And, well, if it's okay with you, I want you to stay here. Forever. Forever? I know it might be more fun living with people your age like Ren. But I'll do my damnedest to see things from your perspective. So, will you stay with me? Uh... <laughs> Was that supposed to be some kind of proposal? <laughs> hey, quit your laughing. You're as exhausting as ever. Hey, Sojiro. I know I've caused you a lot of trouble, but I really do want to be here. So, let's keep living together. Otava. Sorry for not saying that sooner. Oh, and thanks for talking... Taking in someone as horrible as me. Are you s sure I'm good enough? I wouldn't want anyone else. Huh. No hesitation. Don't come complain to me if you regret it. Actually, I'm not going to let you regret it. If you ever need help, just tell me. I might not be graceful, but I'll be there to protect you. And you can stay with me for as long as you'd like. For forever, if you want. Mm hmm I will. Forever. <laughs> I can't wait to keep... S I can't wait to keep sort of living with you too, Ren. <laughs> sort of living. Eck! It's almost time for the live stream. The director is going to be on this week. I'm out of here. Bye! I was such a fool. My whole life, I've taken... The easy way out to avoid these kinds of situ conflicts. There. I didn't stand up for Wakaba when I knew something was off. I didn't stand up for you either. Instead, I went on and on about how you couldn't fight back against the laws of our society. Oh, shoot. How, sh how you should just accept the hand you're dealt in life. But, but those were mean excuses I made to keep myself in line. They gave me the easy way out I wanted so badly. Maybe instead of all that coffee crap, I should have been teaching you not to make the same mistakes I did. There I go, ranting again. But I feel like I managed to put a lot behind me today. Thanks for making me realize what's important in life. Yay! We continued! Rank 7! Alright. Sweet! I'm going home. Alright, I better head home too. I don't want to. Don't stay up too late, okay? I don't want you oversleeping. Yeah, especially with an important day like tomorrow. And also, you're required to get max kindness with Sojiro, yet they. They give you kindness points anyway. Whatever. Hello. Hey, you good to talk? I talked to Futaba again after that. Don't know how it took me so long when we've been so close. But I finally had an honest con conversation with her. How do I say this? It feels like we're a real family now, not just pretending to be one. And that's only because you helped us connect, so thanks for that. Man, I really didn't do anything. I'm truly glad. You're welcome. Feel like feel like a real dad now? A real dad, huh? Sounds canny as hell, but I can't deny it. What am I doing? Calling some guy up and rambling about my feelings? Eh, but I guess you're not exactly an ordinary guy yourself. Alright, I'm hanging up while I'm 
while I've still got some dignity. See you tomorrow. Good night. And now, time for the fun part. Ugh. Pulling all-nighters is the worst. I really should have started stu studying sooner. At least the school festival soon. It's the thing I'm looking forward to most right now. Yeah, but are they still going to hold it? It might get canceled. Don't say that. You're bumming me out before the exams. Things are bad enough as is. If they cancel the festival, the students will riot. Let us hold a riot. 10 17. Alrighty. Phantom thieves have gone off the deep end, don't you think? Oh, great. Oh, More crap the about us. Heart, but they ended up killing him instead. Haven't people been saying they killed Principal Kobayakawa, too? We didn't do it! I thought they were bad, but I never expected they'd turn out to be murderers. <laughs> You thought they were bad. B bullshit. I'm betting you were supporting the fan thieves. You bought their merchandise. You you were rooting for them. Oh man. Does this mean anyone who gets targeted is screwed? Quiet down. I'll now be handing out your exam booklets. Okay. Well, shall we begin? Let the first day of exams begin. Counting both black and white surfaces, how many surfaces are there in total on a soccer ball? Okay, uh, 32 surfaces. Ooh, we can do this. That sounds about right. Mm. Let's see, an essay question. This looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Provide an example for why the soccer ball is only comprised of the colors black and white. Soccer balls... Did the teacher say that the number of colors used to be different? Do you remember? It used to be flashier. It used to be one color. It used to be three colors. It used to be one color. Right. It was only one color. But that wouldn't really grab your eye. Oh yeah, I remember. I think she said that unlike now, soccer games were broadcasted with no commentary, black and white pictures, no visuals. No visuals. Right. A single colored ball would be hard to spot in black and white. So they changed the color of the ball to make it easily identifiable on TV. Yep. You finished in time. <laughs> time is up. Put down your pencils and put your hands under your desks. Oh, so they did this too, huh? <laughs> I, yeah, they did that with uh, us. and I remember having to do that in school too. The 18th. You're still rooting for the Phantom Thieves? Oh, come on, you guys. You know they're murderers, right? That doesn't mean that criminals should be left to do whatever they want. Still, couldn't they have at least left the principal to the police? And I mean, did you see that press conference? No way Allies of Justice would do that. Like you know what Allies of Justice really are. You saw them as entertainment. Sticking to his guns, even though so many people were against him. Oh my goodness! That's enough. If you don't quiet down, I'll have to ask you to leave. Wham wham, and then you'll get zeros. Now everyone. This is the second day of your exams. Please begin. Who conducted executions during using this device? Louis the Fifteenth, Joseph Ignace. Guillotine or Charles Henry Sunson? It was obviously Charles Henry Sunson. That sounds about right. What is the reason that most people cannot become a cormorant fisherman of Naga? Oh God! Requires an apprenticeship. It's a hereditary profession. They don't have the guts. <laughs> it's a hereditary profession. Next day. Uh, that always has bothered me that it's just like, 
You can't do anything after your exam days. It's just like you just gotta skip to the next day. Killed our principal. Isn't this insane? There are murderers among us. Now that you mention it, there was a guy in Shibuya who told me he's a phantom thief the other day. For real? You gotta report that. And now the people who try to ride our coattails are screwed. Oh crap! You think so? I snapped a pic. So I should probably put it online just in case. I hope the cops catch him. Okay, class, let's get started. Today is the third day of exams. Go ahead and start. What's the meaning of robota? The etom eto et root of robot. Uh, mechanized all slave labor, the labor class. Slave labor. Ooh, we can do this. Which of the following describes the density of stars in outer space? Three sesame seeds in your hand, three melons in the Atlantic, three bees in all of Europe. Three bees in all of Ooh, Europe. We can do this. <sighs> Next day. Wow, uh, we're already at 30, like, 30%. Ooh, last day of exams. 